Don't lose access to your favorite news and sports coverage. In the coming days, the only place you'll be able to stream this station is on the free Odyssey app. Coverage of all the teams you love and news from your hometown are all available for free. Whether you're more excited about football season or election season, listen live exclusively on the Odyssey app. Your sports, your news, your music, your Odyssey. Don't miss out. This stream will only be available at minus 135 on BetMGM. The Bulls allow the fourth most points against small forwards. Small forward Keldon Johnson of the Spurs is averaging 21.8 points and 3.4 assists this season. So grab his over 25 and a half points and assists on BetMGM at minus 105. And those are your pregame courtside odds presented by BetMGM, the king of sportsbooks. All right, Alyssa, thank you. Our starting lineup sponsored by American Sale. Bring the fun home without Levine. Alex Caruso gets the call from head coach Billy Donovan. Caruso averaging five points, three boards, and two assists, 23 minutes per game. you got Dosumu's playing lights out for the Bulls, averaging 12, 5, and 3 in 32 minutes. He has 18 assists, only five turnovers. Coming off the 12.4 board, seven assist game bill against Indiana the other night, joining DeRozan, Patrick Williams, and the Booch. Uh, San Antonio going with Keldon Johnson. This is such a, a young ball club and a major rebuild. Jakob Bertel, who's done a nice job averaging a double-double like the Vooch. That's a pretty good matchup in the middle. You got uh, Sohan, and he was the ninth overall pick out of Baylor. One year for the uh, Bears under Scott Drew. Born in Oklahoma City, raised in England, plays for the Polish national team. And then Richardson and Trey Jones in the backcourt. Yeah, this is a very young San Antonio Spurs team. They are in a big rebuild right now. They just released one player, but but including including releasing a Primo today, they still have four guys that are 19 years old on this team, and they are very young. They have overall 11 players that are under 25 years old. They only have two players uh, that are over 30. So very young team. They're building for the future, and we'll see what happens. So, And, and they're going to play young. They're going to come out, and they're going to shoot the basketball. They score 118 points a game. That's ninth best in the NBA. They're coming down. They're getting up shots, but they are not defending. They are ma- making uh, grave errors defensively. They, uh, sometimes they don't even try because they're giving up 126 points a game. Yeah, teams are also shooting 50% against the Spurs. That's the most of any team. In the NBA, yep. as far as opponents' field goal percentage, our officials, Pat Frere, Lauren Holtkamp, and Robert Hussey. We have Adam Staszynski, Cesar Perez in our 670 The Score studios. Dan Walters here in San Antonio. And Bill, we're in San Antonio a little bit early in the season. Normally, they save us uh, either a post-All-Star break. I know we played here Christmas Day about six years ago. Yeah, and, and it's usually nice. San Antonio is not one of the colder cities. It's not one of the warmest cities, but it can be relatively nice here in the 40s in February, which is kind of nice for us uh, in February in Chicago when we know it's in the 20s. You know what, uh, and that's a great point. One thing, Bill, I think the the fans here in San Antonio love their Spurs, but, you know, their their run is over, and it really started. This is the 50th anniversary of the Spurs franchise, first in the ABA, then the merger in 76-77, and, of course, they had some great players, George Gervin, James Silas, David Robinson, Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker, Kawhi Leonard, but they've had three straight seasons sub-500. Three straight years of non-playoffs. And Greg Popovich is a great coach all-time, winningest coach. Bottom line, though, Bill, you got to have players. It's a players' league, and you got to have players to win. And, and I, as the best coach in the world, if you don't have the players you can get the job done, it's going to be a tough time. But uh, Pop gets the best out of his players. Players love playing for him, and he's a lot of fun. And if he gets when he starts to get the players and they develop, they'll do well. Hey, Bulls fans. Join the Bulls on October 29th to start your Saturday off right with a workout session powered by Rush University Medical Center and Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. $50 gets you a workout in the United Center atrium, one ticket to the Bulls versus 76ers game, and more. For tickets, visit bulls.com slash workout. Well, the Bulls are getting it done, Bill, on the glass with their two bigs. And we're talking about the Vooch. Averaging 11 boards per game, and then you got Andre Drummond off the bench. He's averaging nine. Yeah, Vooch, uh, seventh in the league in rebound, uh, fourth in the league, excuse me, in the league in rebounding right now, just doing a tremendous job. And, and I think that's partly having Andre Drummond on the floor 
expect in practice every day, big body that can rebound, and it's going to challenge him to be aggressive, box out, and go get the rebound. So we are getting ready for basketball here in San Antonio. We're going to send it out to one last break before we get going. You're listening to Chicago Bulls basketball on the Horizon Therapeutics and SCORE radio network. This is where the Bulls play. Right side, Vooch. Three ball. Bam! Listen to Chuck and Bill call all the action right here on the Chicago Bulls radio network. Don't lose access to your favorite news and sports coverage. In the coming days, the only place you'll be able to stream this station is on the free Odyssey app. Coverage of all the teams you love and news from your hometown are all available for free. Whether you're more excited about football season or election season, listen live exclusively on the Odyssey app. Your sports, your news, your music, your Odyssey. Don't miss out. This stream will only be available. Hi, we're the Goo Goo Dolls. We're fortunate that our daughters have what they need to grow and learn. But that isn't the case for nearly 13 million kids in the U.S. that struggle with hunger. Childhood hunger is a heartbreaking reality that Feeding America is working to change. Each year, the Feeding America network of food banks rescues billions of pounds of good food that would have gone to waste and provides it to families and children in need. You can help kids in need in your community by visiting feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. You took the first step and quit smoking. But even former smokers may still be at risk for lung cancer. That's why SaveByTheScan.org wants you to know about a new low-dose CT scan that can detect lung cancer early. It takes only 60 seconds and could save your life. You took the first step, now take the next. Visit SaveByTheScan.org for a simple quiz to see if you're eligible and talk to your doctor about screening. SaveByTheScan.org is brought to you by the American Lung Association's Lung Force Initiative and the Ad Council. Visit Lake County's largest Buick GMC dealer, Anthony Buick GMC in Gurnee. You got a friend at Anthony. And we are back live in San Antonio, Texas for the Bulls and the San Antonio Spurs. Two teams uh, split last season. But again, the focus on, obviously, first and foremost, the priority is to win a ball game. But obviously, with uh, DeMar DeRozan, seven points shy of 20,000 career points. What a fabulous career by DeMar DeRozan out of Compton, California. Attended the University of Southern California. Lottery pick by Brian Colangelo and the Raptors in the day. Got traded for Kawhi Leonard. Jakob Pertl also in that deal. And here we are. Seven points shy for DeMar. Yeah, absolutely fantastic for DeMar. Well-deserved. He's worked hard throughout his whole career. And we have uh, starting lineups now. Let's go downstairs. Tonight's matchup features the Chicago Bulls and your San Antonio Spurs. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Chicago Bulls. 6'5 guard from Texas A&M, number 6, Alex Caruso. 6'4 guard from Illinois, number 12, Ayo Dosumu. 6'6 forward from USC, number 11, DeMar DeRozan. 6'7 forward from Florida State, number 44, Patrick Williams. And the 16th center for Montenegro, number 9, Nikola Vucevic. Head coach of the Chicago Bulls, Billy Donovan. So there you have the uh, starting lineup for the Chicago Bulls. Bill, I'll tell you another stat line that we're going to focus on tonight. The Bulls, they're attempting 27 free throws per game. Yes. Third most in the NBA. Uh, that's pretty good. And we got two guys that get to the foul line a lot, Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan. And that's what the Bulls need to do. They need to have that balance. You can't just come out and start shooting three-point shots uh, all the time because the Bulls have been up and down with that. It's time for This Day in Bulls History, sponsored by Napleton Mazda with locations in Palatine, Schaumburg, Countryside, and Oak Lawn. Visit NapletonMazda.com. And on this date in 2008, Derrick Rose made his debut for the Chicago Bulls against the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bulls won 108-95. Well, on the big board, they've got the uh, presentation of the uh, Spurs dressed in the silver, black, and white uniforms. The uh, Spurs, Bill, as you mentioned, so very young. They've got uh, five players, five players, Bill, 
that legally can't drink. <laughs> well, for now, they released Primo today. But yes, le uh, legally can't drink uh, on this side of the border. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> it's, we used to do that in Canada. You, you, let's go down south for the starting sure lineup. <laughs> Takes one guard from dude number 33, Trey Jones. 7-1 center from Austria, number 25, Jakob Pertl. And a 6-5 forward from Kentucky, number 3, Calvin Johnson. All right, so there you have the uh, starting lineup for the San Antonio Spurs. I'm a big Jakob Pertl guy, Bill. Yep. Seventh year, 7-1. Seven, uh, from the University of Utah, first Austrian to play in the NBA, averaging 14 and 10. Those are career high numbers. You know, they they had a hack of hurdle when they played Indiana. He went to the foul line a career high 21 times. Oh wow! 21 times he made a career high 13. Hello. Yeah. You mean Arnold Schwarzenegger never played in the NBA? <laughs> and uh, the other player, I, I love what Keldon Johnson's done. You know what I mean? He he won Olympic gold. Yeah. But, I mean, he's just getting better and better. He's worked on his three-point shot. Bulls need to play hard tonight, Bill. Uh, they do. They're gonna, This team is going to push the pace, going to get uh, get up a lot of shots. They're going to try and score. You know, they're, they're averaging 118 points. They're going to try and score a lot of points. But uh, they don't play defense. And you can't get caught up in that game. If the Bulls get caught up in a run and gun game. Now, we, I've been saying all year long, the Bulls have to push the pace. they got to do a better job, get some easy transition baskets. But that doesn't mean just come down and start firing up shots. You still have to take good shots. This team uh, will make mistakes in transition. They'll make mistakes in rotations defensively uh, just because they're young and they're inexperienced right now. So uh, you have to take advantage of that. Also, it's only their second home game. They started their first home game. They opened up here. Then they went on the road for four games. Uh, they don't really have a rhythm yet. They're, they're still working the, the crinks out here uh, in this arena. They don't really have their home routine set yet. So.